Hello fellow cryptocurrency investors. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the future of Bitcoin. It's um, a little bit difficult subject, but I will try to be as objective as possible. Uh, but I first want to start with uh, thanking someone who sent me 100 XIM. Uh, thank you so much for this donation. If you want to donate to me, please um, send your name with it. Um, or send me an email if it doesn't work in a, in a message or if you want to send another currency than XIM send me uh, a mail with your name and I made a top 10 donate donators list on my channel description so guys today the price of Bitcoin is 1600 that hits another all-time high um, all the other cryptocurrencies are doing great as well a look at ethereum hit over 100 doubled in a few days of time ripple is skyrocketing uh, skyrocketing again and the other cryptocurrencies too actually dash hit over 100 again uh, nim is doing very great actually everything is doing really really great the last couple of days but that makes me um, a little bit concerned about the fact that uh, there might be a little bit of a bubble and that's why I want to explain also why Bitcoin is still a very good choice to uh, keep up in your um, in your portfolio so I made an overview I will try to keep it as short as possible because it's a lot of things to talk about um, but I will give a short overview there are more reasons uh, and more things to talk about of the future of Bitcoin but yeah let's go so uh, the first thing I want to say is the Bitcoin dominance. It's it's pretty scary to see it going down so quickly. It is uh, it was at least 82% one year ago in May. One year ago, uh, it was 82%, and now it's only 56%. That's an all-time low, actually. You see, you see it going down here from actually from March 8. It just went in a free fall. That's probably because of the problems with uh, with Bitcoin, the whole scaling thing, and the transaction time, all the debates, the internal problems in the in the developers team. Um, that's probably one of the reasons that it goes like this in a free fall. But that creates also opportunities, and that's these opportunities are the altcoins right now. But I think once um, Bitcoin the problems are solved that the uh, altcoin market is going down again a lot and Bitcoin will go up again so today the price is 1600 as I said one year ago it was 450 so the price went times three and a half in one year that's not bad at all actually um, one of the reasons that Bitcoin can go up soon is the Bitcoin ETF. I don't know if it's going to be approved this time. It was already um, rejected by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Um, but it has to be reviewed because they uh, they uh, had enough people who supported the, 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 the petition for the review of the Winklevoss ETF or the Bitcoin ETF. So that's again on the table at the SEC. And they have to review it. There's also, by the way, an Ethereum ETF on the table. So, But I think Bitcoin has more chance to be approved than Ethereum anyway. Because Bitcoin is a phase of cryptocurrency. And is just everyone knows Bitcoin. And barely someone uh, know Ethereum. I mean, someone who is not in the, in the cryptocurrency uh, market. Then we have SegWit. SegWit is, um, a, is a system that could solve the scaling problem of Bitcoin and that's really 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 important and uh, that's the debate going on right now if we look to uh, Litecoin, Litecoin activated SegWit and you have to see the price of Litecoin I mean if the same is going to happen to Bitcoin I don't think so by the way it won't go that fast but uh, you see it came from four dollars and it's now 27 and a half Litecoin because they activated SegWit and it seems to be a success. So Bitcoin is also um, thinking about activating SegWit and that would be 
that would be huge news guys if segwit is activated the price will skyrocket i'm i'm pretty convinced about that because a lot of big investors uh, announced that they will invest big money in in a bitcoin once the scaling problem is solved so they are now waiting and just waiting and seeing um but if segwit is activated that would already solve uh, part of the problems and i think a lot of investors will already get in then because they won't they don't want to pay too much for their bitcoins so it looks promising if segwit is activated the big investors come with big money and the price will go up a lot and also more and more investors funds and money managers are now interested in um, in bitcoin so that's only good news and i want to say that these investors all of them um they are only interested in bitcoin maybe also in ripple and ethereum maybe litecoin also a little bit but i think that's it i think these four um these are interested for, interesting for um for for them for the money managers and for the investors so but bitcoin by far um, is the most important one for them so they will put their money in bitcoin because it's the most stable one and they want stability in their portfolios so yeah that's why i think that bitcoin is the most interesting one for investors actually i'm sure about that what is a realistic prediction um i saw all kinds of wild predictions about 10,000 20,000 this year i don't know if that's really realistic the market is going up and down so it can go down also but i think 3,000 is a very careful a very realistic prediction for bitcoin this year especially when they activated segwit it could probably be more but i don't think it will really hit like 10 or 20,000 this year that's that's I don't think that's realistic so 3000 realistic with segwit maybe more could be um and what are the reasons of that that is because the altcoins like i said altcoins are going up and bitcoin is still pretty stable it it stands its ground um er everything is skyrocketing at the moment but bitcoin is really stable and it barely goes down uh sometimes but when once the uh, the altcoin market will go down as I explained in the last video uh, Then Bitcoin will go up all the money that is in the altcoin markets all of them um, A lot of them at least will be converted in Bitcoin and they will just hold their Bitcoin as a form of stability for a while um, So that's why I al also said like keep 20% of your portfolio at least in Bitcoin because it's just stable if everything if the bubble bursts, you know, then Bitcoin will go, uh, will go up, will be stable, will be the only stable one. So that's what I just explained. If the altcoin is going down, Bitcoin goes way up, and this altcoin bubble, it's I think, let if we if you look at the Bitcoin dominance, I think there is like a little bit of a bubble forming, um, but that's because of the problems. People are just speculating away from uh, from Bitcoin and going to other coins um, because yeah because of the problems in bitcoin but once the, these are solved i think the bitcoin's dominance will go way up again and the the altcoins will go down that's it's as easy as that so for now it's good to have some extra to, to gain extra money in the altcoins but i mean on the long term i don't know i think there will be a bubble um that bursts sooner or sooner or later I don't know um, but I think I do really think that the Bitcoin dominance is going up again once these problems are solved because the reason that altcoins are going up is because of these problems so if they are solved um, they will go they will go down again I'm pretty sure about that I saw this article of um, the first investor in snapchat thinks it can hit 500,000 by 2030 I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. Is it realistic? I don't think so. Actually, uh, it could be. I don't know how how things will um, develop and evolve the la the next years, the next ten years. I have no idea. Um, but I'm pretty sure that the market cap and everything will go up. It's like new active class that is developing, and that's huge. We didn't see this happening for. I mean, the last one hundred years probably nothing happened like this um 
but it's also you have to be careful and it will go up and down it will it will crash a little uh, sometimes in these and it's still 13 years so i don't know if 500,000 is a realistic prediction it could be but um i rather don't think so i think uh for for 2030 i think you just cannot do a, a realistic prediction it's not possible to to predict it by now or just you are just like gambling something you're just like guessing uh just saying something um i think this guy also did that because i i read the article i will put it in the description you have to read it but um i think it's not like um a, a prediction that is really um built with like enough enough um things that that supports this prediction so yeah um that's what i just said the snapchat investor um but the fact is if investors funds and money managers put three percent into bitcoin the price will go already over five thousand if only the the hedge funds will put three percent it will it will be more than three thousand so a lot there are like there are some uh, money managers that have over five trillion dollars is most that's uh, the biggest one in the world imagine they putting three percent into bitcoin i mean that would already raise the price over ten thousand so yeah it's it, it is it is possible but i i don't i don't know it's just you cannot say it by now uh, a lot of things need to happen for bitcoin um the market have to be more major because it's still like pretty young it's still infant uh so yeah but uh a thing is that i think is the bitcoin a new is a new source of wealth um it recently yeah it's a, i think it this month it beats the price of one ounce of gold so you you often i at least i see often the comparison between bitcoin and gold um but that's good that's that's like they want to give Bitcoin this image of this wealth storage and they want to give Bitcoin this image of being um, as, as safe as gold and only going up. It could be that that it becomes like a new some kind of gold, you know. Uh, another reason why Bitcoin could be the new source of wealth is because there is a bubble in stocks and real estate. Um, the stocks are going up for a long time already. Uh, also real estate. It's getting out of control at some places. So I think people are more and more scared to get into stocks and real estate because they think the prices are so high. And that, that's good news for Bitcoin because that means that's another reason to consider Bitcoin as a new source of wealth. Also, a reason that Bitcoin could be this is the debts of governments and also the war on cash. If you see here, these are the debts of uh, the United States look how it's going up it's it's crazy i mean it's getting totally out of control and this is bad news for for the cash for the us dollar um but it's it's just bad news for, for governments in general and bitcoin the concept is still that it's away from governments away from banks so that's that's a combination of uh this war on cash and the government debt um, that Bitcoin could really be if people are too scared that things will happen with the government. I mean, like the, the debts are too high or the, the cash is maybe about to to go down or something. The, the word of cash. Then Bitcoin is, is, is for them maybe a good harbor to to put their put their cash in and put their money in because it's something totally else and it's 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 i mean it's away from all the debts and it's away from inflation and stuff so that's a really important thing i think the more debts will be made um, uh, the more uh, war on cash there will be that the better for bitcoin and like i said people who are not into cryptocurrency so much um only know bitcoin and they will consider bitcoin as the number one it is of course but they will consider it as the as the safest one um, which it is in my opinion also um, and this I also want to say political instability it's, it's pretty dangerous like the since since the, the election of, of Trump the stocks are going up a lot there is there has been a rally of stocks um, because all the investors have so much uh, faith in, 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 in Trump 
but I don't know if if it's like really on their place, you know. Um, and this this will also create this bubble. They are like speculating on a good future of America, a good economy. The stocks are really at a high point, for which you would think the economy is going really well. But look at all the debts and stuff. It's like I don't know. It's not for me. It's not the perfect moment anymore to invest in stocks. Um, and I think a lot of people will realize that all these all these factors together is for me um, a sign that in the future Bitcoin will be more and more a new source of wealth. So guys, that's actually uh, about it. Uh, I won't take it any longer. I won't make the video any longer than this than necessary. Um, I hope you guys see the advantages of Bitcoin in the future and just think about that you need a good amount of Bitcoin because I don't want you guys to to lose all your all your investments on the on the altcoins once the bubble will explode. I don't know if there's a bubble maybe it's I don't know I cannot predict when the bubble will burst because uh, nobody can predict that it could be it could be maybe next year or something. But I think if it will do, then it will be with uh, a lot of noise, let's say. Then it will be hard. Then everything will go down big time. So just do your portfolio management, guys. I made a video about that. I will also put it in the description um, on how to uh, manage your, your cryptocurrency portfolio. Because it's important. Uh, because of all the reasons I said Bitcoin is still really good. Um, don't think like yeah bitcoin is not going up so much as the altcoins that's true but you have also to be safe and i like i said if the if if a bubble uh will burst then bitcoin will survive that uh at least the best of all of them and bitcoin is also very stable it goes up uh very nicely um nothing too heavy just like really stable going up it's perfect i mean I will also sell some of my altcoins and put it into Bitcoin because I'm a little bit scared everything is going up too fast. I mean, that's not healthy for markets. That's never healthy to go up this fast. So yeah, guys, uh, it's up to you. I hope you guys uh, learned a lot about this video. If you have any questions about Bitcoin, about other cryptocurrencies, uh, just ask it in the in the comments below. Um, I'm, ha I'm, I'm glad to answer all these questions. I'm glad to see that there is a real community uh, forming at, uh, at Young and Investing or channel. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.